Tea Diddy V, and we're walking into the coffee co-op. Oh, so he hand, he hand takes out all the bad ink. Yeah. Oh, okay. This guy's an expert in... Oh, yeah, he, he's definitely an expert for this. Fantastic job. These are the bad... You can see this. These are really bad beans. Different. Let's see a good, for example, a good one is this one. That's the difference between this one. So yeah, crack. Okay. Uh -huh. These are the coffee beans, okay? Then the people just can't take the red ones. For example, in this part, they can take this one and this one, just two or three of them, okay? This one, they have to wait at least one week more just to be really red, okay? The ideal color is that one, like almost purple one. That's, that's the ideal. Let me take the other glasses. Yeah, I'm sucking on some coffee beans. <laughs> They're super sweet, surprisingly. Yeah, for example, this part, the people here, they pick up the beans and they weigh the beans here. Then we pay them for the kilos that they that he pick up in a day. We always have to check every single week to check where are the red beans, red beans ready to pick up. Then, then I told you, okay, you have to come here. You can, you have to go again. And this thing. Annie, Annie's hey. right here. Oh, looks like we got a puppy with us. Oh my gosh! Ah, shit! Margara, Mr. Kadavid. Hi. Welcome on the bus. Thank you very much. What? I got a question for you. What makes coffee so important to Colombia? Because coffee, it, more than uh, 800,000 people live from coffee in Colombia. And uh, during the harvest time, it it's grows until two and a half million of people working for coffee in Colombia. That's so important for us. Natural resources have always been important to Colombia, mm -hmm. whether it was uh, bananas initially. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned uh, coffee only being farmed and harvested and exported just 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, how do, you know, the government, how do private, uh, private farmers maintain, you know, uh, success from being uh, coffee farmers or making sure that, you know, the bulk of the country receives a reward of having mm -hmm. such a na fine natural resource? It's a really like a tough business. It's not really an easy business, really. We depends from the markets. We depends from uh, coffee. Is now nowadays a commodity. Used to be uh, the price we we give you we give the price like ten years ago from London, but now it's a commodity from mainly from New York. For uh, now, for us, it's kind of tough business now. But anyways, it's it's the profit is, is okay. Uh, for in in the case of myself, I really like to give job to the people in our farm. 80% of our collectors are women and uh, we, we prefer that because women most of the time that really they provide all this money to, his, to their kids and all these things. Uh, that's the reason why we prefer women and that improves their lives a, a lot really. What role does the future does technology play with being a coffee farmer? How do you make sure that you know, your job no, is not we, we, I think that we will face a big problem. It will be like the collectors really. Because we need a lot of hand people, a lot of people to collect the, the coffee. But now that young people, they don't like to collect the coffee. Really. They prefer to stay in other things. But now to it, I think that the future will be like improve with some kind of equipment or something to pick up the coffee with some kind of, I don't know, robots or whatever you want, you want to call it, just to pick up the red beans, just the red beans. and. In that way, we can solve that problem because in the future we will have problems to collect the coffee. Yeah, you were you were saying that there was a road a mudslide and it mm -hmm. caused you had to drive three hours around mm -hmm. just to just to get the beans into the town into the co-op yeah. to get them picked up to the mm -hmm. parillas and to get delivered. And if that kind of things happens during season, you can only imagine the problems that it caused. 
But don't you think Colombians, I mean, are Colombians a little bit, they're very cultural, they're very family oriented, mm -hmm. and I feel like they might be um, a little bit weary of bringing in technology. Do you think that'll stop? that'll stop them, they'll be weary of the technology coming no, in? No, I think that, that that will be a problem because like between 75 and 85 percent of the coffee growers are small ones, really small farms, and they don't want to get involved into the technology because it's a lot of expenses around. But now there are some cops that try, they are trying to get together everybody and try to buy something between all of them. That will be one of the of the answer to that problem. Really. Have you ever thought of, you know, having coffee parties? You got a big plot of land. <laughs> how, about, how about bring people in, let them party with your coffee, take shots of coffee, we'll take more shots it's, it's of coffee. Like a, it's like a wine tour, but a coffee tour. Yeah, yeah. coffee tour. Yeah, yeah, coffee tour. Now, but coffee tour, you have to mix it with some alcohol or something because the coffee tour is just... <laughs> Listen, if you started your Guadiente with coffee, I might be living in your farm for three weeks straight. I might end up naked running around skiing down the hill. But yeah. He told me it's... That would be great. A Guadiente in your coffee is coffee blanco, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. coffee blanco. I almost got here with some coffee. Yeah, white Blanco coffee. We call it Aguardiente white coffee. You would call it gringo coffee. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all day. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Well, thank you for okay. joining us okay. on the okay. bus. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see how we made it this far on our journey, check out one of the other playlists on the sidebar or click the subscribe button below to keep watching our journey. Now come get on the bus with us. <laughs>